I have found that these days, by meeting my federal counterparts, even getting to know better people in Rhode Island, um, we end up having a chance to connect and partner and get things done. Um, so it becomes a very exciting opportunity that leads to results, and I really appreciate it. I am coming here for the fourth time um, down to Rhode Island Energy and Environment Day with uh, Sheldon Whitehouse, and I love the speakers that he picks each year. It's an amazing to see uh, Sheldon's connections here in DC and how he's made such a great impact and uh, love hearing from the great list of speakers. We need to redouble our efforts and the sooner the better. After all, the United States is already facing the consequences of a changing climate. All told, we experienced 11 extreme weather events in 2012 that each caused at least $1 billion in damages. The price tag of Hurricane Sandy alone exceeded $50 billion and battered Rhode Island's coast. We should also remember that the solutions regionally in our country will be very, very different. And so one of the other things that we are going to be doing uh, as well in the next three years is uh, uh, hopefully considerably raising our game in terms of how we work with states uh, and regions. I mean, a lot of the solutions are going to come that way. One of the interesting initiatives of, that President Obama has proposed this year, so-called Race to the Top. You're probably all familiar with the uh, ed Education Department Race to the Top <clears throat> with the idea that states can compete uh, with, with innovative proposals, uh, in that case to meet uh, higher educational uh, standards. In this case, it will be about energy efficiency uh, and grid, uh, and grid uh, modernization, uh, which are not disconnected. We've made some progress, important progress, under President Obama's leadership. We doubled the amount of clean, renewable energy like wind and solar. The new tailpipe standards for automobiles and other motor vehicles will double the fuel efficiency of our passenger vehicles. Scores of coal-fired power plants are being replaced with natural gas generation. But as yesterday's report from the International Energy Agency made clear, we still have a long way to go. I don't have to tell anybody in this room. We just hit 400 parts per million of carbon in the environment. Look, the bottom line here is that climate change is real, and it's having an influence. It's affecting the world we live in. Our principal responsibility as adults in this world is to save this earth for our children. And Rhode Island also has been an important part of the Regional Greenhouse Gas Initiative because not only do we need to generate clean energy, we need to reduce our carbon emissions. And Reggie's been incredibly successful. The carbon emissions have been reduced by 30 percent, and it's also created a huge resource, $22 million, into developing clean energy uh, for the state of Rhode Island. All these threads are coming together, and one important thread is national security. And I have recently read of comments from defense ministers in developing countries who said the greatest threat to their stability and security, it's climate change. We often have uh, important guests for Energy and Environment Day, but uh, today we've got the uh, top ever. If we can get across the political tipping point, thanks to Sheldon's leadership and thanks to your involvement in these efforts, then we can make a decision to once again have the United States of America lead the world. If we as a nation make a commitment to mobilizing to solve this crisis, there's no doubt we can solve it. I described Rhode Island as the little engine that could, and we have been really doing so much on climate, working so hard, doing such a good job, and uh, being a small state, we don't always get a lot of recognition for what we do. And so to have the vice president come to uh, talk with us and particularly somebody who's been such a personal champion on this issue, I think it's going to really enthuse the Rhode Island group and give us a big boost as we continue to fight on this issue going forward.